What is going on guys? It is your boy Fly Stu. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to play and get a higher MMR in Arena and Axie Infinity. Step by step, how to go through it. If you like videos like this and you like more where I give you beginner tips and show you how I got to 2000 MMR and a couple of my scholars did, let me know in the comments below and we'll do just that. But by further ado, guys, today what we do, what I do is, I have a scholarship, 20 scholars right now, guys, growing super, super fast. And to get our scholars better, we like to go through their gameplay and show them what they're doing great and some tips and tricks that they can use to improve. So right now we're gonna start off with our boy Rapid Ramsey's game here and see what he is doing to absolutely dominate in arena. So right now he's around a thousand MMR, a uh, thousand MMR, thousand one hundred MMR to that thousand two hundred range. Let's see if we can give him some tips to help him grow up and go up the ladder right now. Um, so we're gonna pause this. By the way, we're rocking out with three inches. Gia says going to 3K MMR. Three inches says, oh yeah, I'm at 7K rank right now, guys. So in this top 10,000, it's amazing. Three inches says, ayo, numbing buddies. I have you experience enemies that doesn't end turn and waste your time if they get disabled. Three inches all the time. If you didn't know, I rock a numbing plant right now. And a lot of times people just, want to see the end of the game for some reason um i whatever if you want to go to round 14 we can end it in round 14 but i am fine if they don't want to end the game when they know they lost so our scholar here right now rapid has a dust terminator 46 speed a backdoor shrimp risky fish with 48 speed he has a front plant with piercing sound and all of the works here guys and he has this beautiful guy right here with instead of having vegetable he has gota adds a little bit more defense um and a little bit more attack which is always well when you're having trouble bursting so this guy has sandal boy aqua so decent team has a different parts but decent team let's see what rapid does so this guy has vegetables, so I wouldn't right off the bat. I don't like leaving one energy left when I have vegetable, when you have vegetables. So what he does, which I like, is he goes for the attack here. And notice how this guy has the poison here. And the reason he has poison is because he chained it with another bug card. So very strong opening move by rapid and of course any card that has a red title here is a bug card. These have blue, that's because they're aqua cards. <clears throat> so i like this off the bat he goes he identifies the threat this guy is not a threat one-on-one -on -one. even though he has some beast damage he doesn't have any zero costs so as long as you force him to use energy and doesn't get a lot of energy gains the terminator should be able to take one and two one-on-one -on -one. let's see here so wow massive damage Remember, you use three cards, he used three cards, but again, look at the positions here. Absolutely massive damage to start. Oh, wow. <laughs> At eight poison, this is where you probably wanna skip. Yep, you'll wanna skip. He's probably never seen three bars on a plant there, so that threw him off. 49 morale. <laughs> and this is where you wanna go back door. You got eight poison on the front plant. You go back door, you get the big damage. Oh, look at this. Risky fish here. And unfortunately, he can't get the poison, but it was still the right choice. He didn't have Mystic to use with it, but it's still the right choice. You get all those beautiful ticks, and now look at him in kill range here. So again, this super risky move. <laughs> super risky move especially after you saw them kind of like pass a turn um to try to get that off didn't need to try but you know not the worst and again oh does he waste a little bit of energy the thing is right here you're in such a lead you're in such a lead right that you can like afford to do this but very risky high risk move there honestly um but it pays off for rapid so not a bad so off the bat rapid actually played when it comes to his first five to six moves he literally played a perfect game so far in the first six moves so let's just let that out there 
really good to see the improvement here and again I like I like I like I like I like so one of the interesting things here too is a lot of times what I'll do when someone's done is I'll maybe like skip or just play one sticky what rapid does is super smart he goes for the allergic and then he goes for the sticky you for defense right um I like that again a perfect seven rounds right now Oh, and look at he's trying to get rid of him with this guy in the back remember this guy has nutcracker so he's actually in a situation where he could lose because of this nutcracker card and thankfully he was able to put up enough shield enough defense where he didn't get killed and oh my god look at this so he has the slow down here he didn't need to use this mystic <laughs> that shouldn't have used that mystic there um woo! Ah, and see right there is why you don't use the mystic because if he still had the mystic here he could have pulled this off with doing chomp allergic but let's see if he can somehow get the crit jesus to help him and crit jesus doesn't answer his call unfortunately <laughs> last stand last stand and just like that he won the game so very tough game played a perfect six to seven rounds using that mystic was the only thing that kind of put him in a very suspect situation but other than that phenomenal game um gets the win here and just to rub it in uses the double mystic so very close game really played a phenomenal game there um i can't complain about that uh, Kogi says if he saves the mystic easy win exactly gotta save that mystic don't want to waste it especially in the end game there um yeah back in the day with the terminators weren't nerfed you could play a lot of games and really been in a situation where you didn't have to play a, a perfect game but now you pretty much have to play a perfect game to get those wins so we're gonna check out another gameplay from one of our scholars this one's one of our newer scholars has a very similar team as the last one as you can see um has a very atypical plant so a plant high speed and has a lot of shield also a backdoor plant risky dull grip and of course you have croc to speed the game up remember he's 49 speed and you have a, your traditional 46 speed dusk by the way guys we're with you know Leith. what's going on kath good morning kaoki in the building and shrimp zeki and of course guys we're going against a healing plants a midline juggling team and another poison team so guys how do you beat poison teams especially yeah, when they have juggling? Story, story, yeah. Story, yeah. Hey, thank you so much for the follow i appreciate it unilief how do you beat juggling teams guys you want to poison and you want to poison early when they're poisoned they don't want to use juggling balls you want to poison this guy here so let's see how he plays this game early so unfortunately he doesn't have barb strikes here so when they have this sh big guy with shield here um you want to get rid of him fast well you want to get rid of him and you don't want to dilly dally with the cards so you, when you hit him you want to make sure you give him some umph you don't want to give him a room to heal so Again, plays the steel game here. By the way, we got Lil Softly in the building, Yuno Leaf in the building, guys, and Kath in the building. Great to see you guys rocking out here with us in the morning times. So he steals energy, he puts up a lot of shields, but we steal energy right back. Um, again, I think this is the right play. You keep putting up the shield, you keep putting up the poison. just look at all that damage you do that's a 150 damage card the zigzag puts you in situation to win but 
all in all, that's an, a tremendous amount of poison, and you don't have Biden's to get rid of it. So he's in a very particular situation here. Now he goes for the back door. In this situation, do you want to go for the back door? Uh, you have the zero cost here. It might be a backdoor situation, but at the same time, this plant is pretty troublesome. You don't want him to go one-on-one -on -one with your Terminator, so you've seen this guy put up a bunch of shields here. I might want to go to the front door. You don't really have a preference. This guy is a very tough matchup for your Terminator, so I don't know. This could be a good thing, but let's see what happens here. 108 gets the critical so yeah i would probably want to go front door with here and just kid him with the burst i think that's the way to go watch mind boss oh a thousand percent kyoki we're gonna watch yours next so he takes him down here okay so and here we go so this is really uh i love this combo here so normally you want to use dull grip first, right? Just to get that extra damage bonus. But what if, what if, what if you use risky fish and then you use dull grip and they still have shield? Guys, I love this combo, the risky fish to dull grip. It does a tremendous amount of damage and it's gonna do 150 here. I think he, oh, just gets him. Look at that, 158, and get some out of here. Absolutely tremendous. Woo! Okay, and now you're in a very tricky situation. The good thing, and let, let's start up the music once again. So the good thing here is, he doesn't have any beasts. Beast would do really high damage, but this guy's morale 40 is still high enough to do a lot of damage to you. You want to get rid of the plant, so I would say you got to go risky dull grip again. That That is probably your best move. That's your best bet here, honestly. Um, Simzeki says dull grip is OP. Cass says he aims to kill the warrior so early. Imagine him having shield. Oh, yeah, man. Dull, risky dull grip does 200 damage to shielded dusk and shielded plants. So really great card. 228 wow so the old game that would have been 300 damage absolutely insane but because he's only 40 morale it only does like twice the damage and unsmartly he used a card here this could have really done a lot of damage if he went last so again one of the big things about having the shrimp is you fall in love with the back door this guy doesn't have any attacks, but yam and healing can be an absolute nightmare in the end game. So I don't think going backdoor backdoor is the is the thing you want to do here. You'll want to take out that plant, get him out the ball game. And here you probably want to use dull grip first just in case um so he gets the plan out here and now he's in a phenomenal position to end this game because this guy one-on-one -on -one, even though he has yam he just doesn't have enough defense to really protect himself here and having allergic the very smart pass here by uh rico <laughs> lethal little said that lethal and right here smartly he goes through him and look at that absolutely demolishes him so not bad remember this guy is only a week into playing absolute phenomenal job by rico i really really like that game here and now let's watch a game from we want to watch one from kath and one from kaioki so let's watch kaioki play here um Oh, I might have already seen this game. Let's hopefully I didn't see this one already. 
Um, I might as well already seen this game, but I think it's always good to watch them again. Why not? Um, so the thing that I'll say here is Kaioki, you definitely want to change your lineup here. You want your lineup to be more similar to this guy's here. Um, this is going to struggle a lot against double Anemone. And for all of you that don't know his cards, he has a poison guy right here. 45 speed bolt Ronin instead of Garish. You have a juggling bows in the back instead of snail. So massive damage. Remember with the update, this card is absolutely spectacular with 47 speed. And you got a nice little yam plant. So you can do a lot of poison damage with juggling balls and this yam plant. Let's see how they start out. Notice they both skipped round one. Um, Kaioki says you watch this game, but yep, we can watch this one again on the stream. So absolutely fantastic yam timing. When they skip round one and yam with yam round two, you're in a beautiful situation. Now look at this, five poison ticks, five. And this guy has, oh, he has a zero cost card. So now he can't get tail whip in the middle of the game. And you avoid giving him energy with carrot. Absolutely fantastic start to the game. This was a beautiful start, couldn't start any better. And now watch the beauty of this card. Look at all the damage he's able to do with these three attack cards. So this is 50, 150 damage here. You're doing 10 damage each. Oh, this guy was basically at full health and those three cards got him. Oh my God, that was insane. And now this is an interesting decision here. So I would almost say, I would be fine just using a mystic here to get rid of him. Okay, okay, okay. So I would say a mystic here and because this guy's kind of in danger to dying, maybe a back door with a mystic? Let's see what Kaioki does here. Oh, he does exactly that. Look at this. And the reason it's so good, does the double mystic so he's not in last stand. And the reason it's so good, now he skips this aqua here. This guy is a terminator, remember? So Ronan's gonna do double the damage here. And look at this. Oh God. Oh God, look at that. Oh my goodness. Just like that, the game's over. So Kaioki, I actually didn't see this game here. Um, Kaioki says, do you want to send another? Oh, for sure. Send as much as you possible. And then there's not much you can do here. And look at this. Notice the ticks going by here. Ooh, okay angry <laughs> and right now this guy can't even survive the blood moon the strategic pass and this game is as good as done so Kaioki absolute phenomenal game the, the opponent realistically had no chance and with the attacking dust terminator annihilates them I love it you'll love to see it great game by Kaioki. And now let's watch one more game by our scholar Kath since Kath is in the building and let's see what happens here. So we're going to open this one. So Kath is rocking a very interesting team as well. So as you notice our team, we really like our terminators. We got the terminator in the back 46 speed. In the middle, we got the Ronin with Aranda and Chomp with Venom. And of course, high, high, high health, 32 speed, so a bit faster than normal Yam Plant. Remember the Yam plus this makes magic happen. And again, we have the two Aquas in the front. So this is a very interesting Aqua. Okay, two of the same Aquas, both 57 speed. And the back is the ever healing plant. So let's see how this game goes. <laughs> Kat says criticisms, please. Oh, Kathy, you always know we're about helping everyone improve. Jin Game says nice play there. Absolutely fantastic play. So not a bad pass here. 
Not a bad pass. The reason why it's not a bad pass, you know they can't kill you round one. You know they can't. And now she has a good situation where you can do the pumpkin, you can do the vegetable, you can do pumpkin, vegetable, yam here. I think that's definitely the play. Maxes up the shield. <laughs> um, I, you don't necessarily have to max up the shield here, but uh, definitely probably you're not going to use them again. Those cards again if you don't use them now, but look, we do some 80 damage here. It's always nice to do damage. And because she maxes up the shield, she's able to benefit from getting the card draw. So I like it. Card draws are great for this team because you have these two beautiful zero cost cards that you can keep using when you have great card draw. So let's see what happens there. Now they go for the kill. Kath is kind of in an interesting situation here, honestly. Like, you don't have much cards that really damage these Aquas. So Aranda is really your best card that you have to get rid of these Aquas. So round five, Kath hasn't done much damage and here she does her, she does her big combo. Kyogre says, I'm a lurk, gotta go take a bath. Oh yeah, you gotta get clean. So here it is, beautiful combo. I would have done this exact same order. Notice her order, Ronin first. Um, maybe you can even do Venom Spray first. That's where you get ticks through all these attacks, but Ronin first, Venom Spray, Aranda, then Chomp. And look at this, this guy's left speechless here. <laughs> and then very smartly, this guy goes to basically try to steal your energy there. But look at that, takes both of them out in one hit. So this is a very frustrating place to be in, going against this healing plant here in the back. So this plant is basically gonna carrot, vegetable, vegetable, carrot, carrot. Um, in this situation, there's not much you can do. He's probably gonna do double carrot, vel, vegetable. Although he just used two vegetables, so here maybe he's passing's not the worst idea here yep so basically she passed he gets two vegetables again which is super annoying but it is near the end game so you get the double vegetable double vegetable carrot carrot and at this point in the game realistically what you want here is you just want to be able to do enough damage so this guy's ronin's plus chomp is all you're going to be able to do here unfortunately um, ah, oh, super annoying, super annoying build to go against, honestly. <laughs> oh my God, no, 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 no. So the only thing I'd say there is maybe using Chomp. What is it, Chomp, two Chomps would be annoying or two Chomp around, I forgot what she used. That way, in case you get some Venom Sprays, you'll be able to use them. And again, you just have to use your highest damage attacks. So that initial, using that initial Venom Spray was very harmful here. Oh, this backline plant is so annoying. So what could you do here? That's the thing. Really not much you can do here. He does have a poison on him. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't even know how to approach this. So what you could do because if they're gonna double carrot, what you could do is chomp allergic one mystic. That way if he puts up too much shield, then you can hit him without him getting energy back. And she does exactly that, so very smart move here and then you hit him without breaking a shield that way if they do carrot they don't get energy if they do vegetable don't energy and now they're in your ball game right here okay beautiful move here so you're basically making them take a thing so you can just keep running that combo um if they keep doubling up trying to get energy 
So again, you don't probably don't want to use two mystics here, but she uses it to, for the poison ticks. You probably want to use one mystic just in case mystic doesn't come back next, right? At this point, remember three cards come back every time. You don't want to be in a situation where you don't have any mystics because you can, then you can't go through a shield. Yikes. And now he's in your kill range. Again, you'll probably only want to use one mystic here. Look at how close you are. Look at how close you are. Look at how close you are. Yikes. Liberty, what is going on? We got Liberty Scholar number six in the bell. Dang. GS has got to go, boss. I'm going to cook for lunch. Gia, thank you so much for rocking with us. It's a pleasure to have you here. Oh my goodness. And right there, have him in kill range. Now, this would be a perfect time for Mystics. Remember, this does 152 damage, and just like that, Kath takes her out. So, this stun combo going through shield is absolutely crucial to know as a Terminator. Um, Kath did absolutely amazing job there. Um, really using her, her brand to perfection, her build to perfection, guys. But again, if you like these type of videos where I go through Scholar's videos, and I show you some tips and tricks, some common combos that can help you you with your build. Let me know, guys. Um, I think it's super helpful because going into the game, you start to learn from watching videos like these. You start to learn not only your cards or cards that other people are using, but you learn how to actually approach each opponent depending on what axes they have. Anyways, YouTube, we're gonna keep rocking on Twitch because of course we do all this live, but if you like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, and we, Flight Crew, will see you next time.